Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge and welcome back to Golftopia where we pick things up at Go Go Future Golfers, which is our golf course of the future, of course it is. So we've only got the three holes, this is all we could put together last time out, but they're pretty interesting, I quite like them. So this one here, the first hole's got a sproingy thing and then it's got a gate that we want to go through because that's a good thing apparently. It's got some sort of little launch pad type thing here which just sort of pings the ball off in some random direction direction and then over here on your green there's a sort of uh, the hole is just here it is surrounded by rocks and trees now apparently a few people in the comments have said this is an absolute no-no but Joe you know what it's fine we'll keep it it's a challenge they can try and bounce the ball off of a tree or something and then they've got hole number two this is a similar I suppose to hole number one it's got another springy thing they then have to get it sort of through this stone archway or through those trees over to here try not to knock it into the sea and then over here into the hole and there this is quite exciting because you could be playing your golf here and overhead pretty much in fact it's directly over the hole is one of these sort of futuristic vacuum sort of transport tube thingamajiggers so that's quite fun that's quite exciting oh look someone's having a shot over here Kaylee is having a shot so this is hole number three this is our most challenging golf hole on the course um, so we've got ourselves a ring of fire which looks very, very good. So they're trying to get the ball through there, although Kaylee has completely messed things up. Kaylee has had a bit of a shocking first shot because she seems to be taking the, the the shot from just there. But okay, that's fine. So you have to get the ball through here and then try and not to, you know, bin it into the sea at that point and then go through here. And then we've got this kind of, you know, sort of uh, undulating kind of green through another gate thing, past a couple of sort of uh, springy sort of pinball machine style sort of things there, and then into the hole just here. And then when you're done, you hop into your sort of transport tube thing, and then you go back to the clubhouse. So that's what we've got so far. And I, I like the way it looks. I, I do like this. It looks very nice. But there's still some things that we haven't done. So we haven't bought a new area. We've not expanded into a new area. And that, it looks like it might be what we need to do next, because we haven't got that much room left for further holes. I think we need a little bit more room. We also have not come across the evil weeds, but it looks like they are on their way. That certainly looks like a weed, this sort of weird purpley stuff on the ground. Um, and they sort of spread around, and they cause trouble, it's all sorts of terrible. So we might need to um, might have a look at how we deal with those as well. And then as we saw last time, right at the end of the last part, we can upgrade the clubhouse so this is our clubhouse it's just a regular clubhouse it's an upgrade level of zero so it's just your basic clubhouse but when we upgrade this which is very exciting we then get access to prestige items so we can get driving ranges and putting greens and then the ultimate goal surely surely is to get hover rentals golfers can rent hoverboards I mean, why would you need to do anything else? I would come here and just ride around on the hoverboards. I would forget the golf, if I'm completely honest. I'd just come here for the hoverboards. But then we get buzz lounges, so a fancy lounge for them to go to, a restaurant, which is lovely, a hotel, which is marvellous, and then an orbital power relay, which is very, very exciting. So it automatically casts, I like the word cast, your orbital abilities without needing your input which is a bit curious, isn't it? So yeah, so it just suddenly starts doing your sort of orbital power things up here. Um, so yeah, so what we want to do is I want to get this upgraded. That's what I want to do first. But also we do need to buy some more land as well. And we do need to keep an eye on the weeds over here. But right now we don't have that much money. Oh, and the weather really has turned over here. The weather is quite terrible here in the future. Oh, that's not very good, is it? It's pouring with rain. Do they play golf in the rain? People don't play golf in the pouring rain, do they? Well, they do in the future. <laughs> Maybe that's what they do. So, um, so yes. So, we need to get ourselves some more money. So, we're making a profit of 2,202 monies. We've now just sort of uh, paid out our expenses there. So, we are just going to have to sit and wait for a while. We're going to have to wait for a while for the money to come in before we can upgrade this. It's going to take quite some time. It does tell us when the next golfers are visiting, though. Is that coming in now? Three, naught out of 85. Is there going to be a ship coming in then? Yes. Oh, splendid. There we go. It's the next lot are coming in. Now, I wonder if, if you upgrade your clubhouse, I wonder if you get more frequent visits from the, the spaceshipy thing there, dropping people off. So that's well worth checking there. Okay, so what we need to do is we just need to leave it running for a bit, I think, just to get some money in. But we will keep an eye on the evil weeds. If they start spreading over here there might be something we can do. Because if we go to just here, utility buildings, there is a laser turret. They have a long range and no upkeep cost, making them ideal in keeping weeds out of populated areas. Ammo does have a cost, 
So every time you have to go and reload the thing, there is a little bit of a cost. There's 50 monies. But um, but yeah, I mean, they're not spreading near to us quite yet. The weeds are not in our territory just yet. So we'll have to hang on for a bit. So it's on full speed and we'll just have to sit back and just wait for our golfers to do the golfing and then we will just wait for the money to come in. While I've been waiting, I've been having a look at these little overlays over here and there is a complaints overlay. And over here, people seem to be getting a bit grumpy. And I think it's because right on the edge of the, whatever that is, the fairway, that's what it is, isn't it? The fairway, right on the edge of here, if they hit the ball and it goes a little bit awry, it ends up in these sort of trees and shrubs and things. And I don't think they like that. I don't think they like the ball being stuck in kind of vegetation. I think we might need to get rid of that and replace it with with like a sand trap or something. Because at least then they can try and get it out of the sand using, you know, the correct type of golf stick thing. So let's get ourselves uh, nature props. Let's demolish nature. So away with you, nature. Oh, we get some money for that, do we? Oh, marvellous. Okay, there we go. So um, we'll leave. In fact, no, let's get rid of that nature there as well. Oh, we blew up a rock. I didn't mean to blow up that boulder. Oh, do you know what? It's done now. The boulder has been destroyed. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get some fairway. We'll just pop that in there. And then, yeah, let's get a sand trap then. Uh, let's shrink the size of it so it can just sort of go along here, right on the edge. Um, what's that? Oh, there's a tree there. <laughs> I thought I blew up nature. Away with you, tree. Um, right, back to the back to sand trap. So there we go. And then just kind of cut a sand trap down that side there. Just so if they do go wrong, it ends up in a sand trap. Why can't we Why can't we put anything on there? Uh, is it because it thinks we're trying to build onto a bit of something that isn't ours? Why, why can't we build on that bit there? Okay, I'm not entirely sure why. But there we go. So now there's a sand trap along the side. So maybe they will feel a little bit better if they hit it into the sand trap. Let's have a little look. Right, we've made a bit of money. We're still not even halfway toward getting to our uh, um, clubhouse upgrade. But hopefully this might help a little bit. Also, we do have all this orbital power stuff. So let's give some people some skill injections. You two can become, well, you might think you're better at golf. Oh no, the ball has gone into, into forbidden territory. That was a terrible shot. Okay, April, right, your time is now. But there we go. Look, I think they seem to be a little bit happier with that rather than it getting stuck in trees and what have you. Okay, who else is playing? Who else is playing? Uh, you lot, you can have a skill boost as well. So you might feel a little bit better about yourselves and give us some more money at the end. And then you two as well. There we go. Right, so we've used up our orbital power, but hopefully at the end of their courses, they should give us a little bit more money because they'll feel like they're very good at doing the golf. Um, that actually was pretty good. Elizabeth, that was a very good shot. That was very good from quite far away. Um, okay, let's see who's going in then. No, Reese has messed it up. Who's going next? Elizabeth. Yes, 66 monies comes our way. And 72 future monies and 52 future monies. So yeah, quite a nice pile of money there. That was pretty good. And then they get in the little tube things and then they pootle off home, which is lovely. I do like that. I do like the little sort of transport tube things. They're very wonderful. Okay, so right now we just need to keep waiting. So it, it's not that long. It's not that long until we're able to upgrade the clubhouse to a, well, it seems a bit weird, but you know, an upgrade level one. So a level one clubhouse. But um, And then we can see what it does with these as well. We can see if we start getting members, like bronze members or whatever. One thing I did think of was over here, we don't need any of these trees over here. So we could just demolish the nature over here. That will give us some money. I mean, not loads. 2006 gives us, what are we up to now? Um, oh, hang on. That doesn't give us any money at all. Didn't those trees give us money? Maybe we put those trees in. Maybe we specifically put those trees down. So getting rid of them gives our money back. Ah, that's probably what happened. But over here, we're not going to want all of those things in. So we can put that like that. And maybe over here, when we've upgraded our clubhouse, and we've got a bit more money to play with and what have you, we could then put things like, um, like that there. We could put the driving range or the putting green over here. So we could get those things over here, at least one of them. Get at least one of those things over there because that might be quite a big draw for people to come in if they've got they've got the chance to go and do some driving you know on the driving range where they do the driving what is that one again driving skills that's the long range one isn't it driving is the long range one where they stand at one end they just can they just you know continually whack whack a ball for a, a, lots of times and they just stay in the same spot so it might be quite a good draw for people to come in if they have one of those available. There we go, the money is slowly ticking up. More people are coming in, which is lovely. We can give some more people some subliminal skill things to make them feel better about themselves. So um, so yeah, hopefully not too much longer to wait. 
and we have the 4,000 future monies we need. So let's do this straight away. Let's just get this done. So upgrade. Hurrah! Oh, we've got an exciting list of new items. Congratulations, your golf course is profitable. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. And you're now considered a one-star course. Wow, such a glorious achievement there. Uh, you may now build up to six holes. Okay, right. Ah, okay, so there must have been a limit. I wonder if three was our limit or something. I'm not sure. As you expand your course, be sure to keep your golfers fed, hydrated, and comfortable. Use trans tubes to allow them to move about. Okie dokie. So we have unlocked the driving range, the putting green. We knew about those. What is a lawn mortar? That sounds fun. It can fire weed burning chemical shells anywhere on the island. Weed hives will be prioritized over lesser weeds. The lawn mortar has no upkeep cost, but the shells do have a cost. Okay. So oh, that's interesting, isn't it? That's very interesting. So that will target things anywhere on the entire island. Okay, crikey. And um, is it different? I think it's... Has it got bigger? I think it might have an extra pointy thing on it. It might have an extra pointy thing on it. I don't know if it means people come in more or whatever. I do not know. I mean, does it make people come in quicker? It doesn't seem to. I'm not entirely sure, but okay, well, let's see what this does then. Let's see if that actually has any bearing on anything. Of course, it does have a bearing on our wallet because now we have no money at all. <laughs> so we need to buy some more land. So we might need to go over here and buy this, but then there's weeds over here. There's weeds over here, so we might need to get ourselves one of the laser shooty weed gun things. Now that is the laser turret, which costs 650 um, at the minute, because we just paid out all our maintenance stuff, we're on minus 658 money. So we might need to wait a little while again before we can actually get any get any sort of uh, building done. Because, yeah, we're, we're, we're lagging a little bit for money. Oh, hang on. A new award for hole three, Master Gadgetry. We just gave it three and a half grand. Hang on, why, why did we get an award? Hang on, what's that for? Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause time for a second. Pause time for a second. Preston has upgraded their membership. Preston's our bronze member. Okay, so upgrading the clubhouse has now allowed members to upgrade from basic. Oh, look, they're all becoming bronze members. This is wonderful. I assume that means they pay more now. They must pay more per hole that they try and go for. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, what we could do is then, because it does say keep them fed and watered, we don't have any kind of food provisioning or drink provisioning or restrooms or anything so maybe we should get this done so we'll put a um a garbage sort of can thing around we'll tuck that next to the seat because that makes sense we could pop that just there so that's fine and then over here let's get a drinks machine and then we'll get ourselves a snack machine so there we go. So we've got somewhere where they can go and eat and drink now. And then I think we'll put another bench in because they seem relatively cheap. So let's get ourselves a bench. Uh, let's get a couple along this side, actually. Let's put one just there. And I won't mind another one facing the same way. So people can have a little sit down if they're waiting. Have I put them the wrong way around? <laughs> These are the antisocial benches. Hang on, can we? Can we blow them up? Hang on. Boom and boom. Away with the benches. Right, let's put them in, but put them the right way around. Yeah, there we go. That That's that's the right way around, where they were initially put. There we go. Right, so the benches are in. Um, lots of people upgrading their membership. Chet now is a bronze member. Welcome, Chet. Um, and then we are going to need a restroom. Where can we put a restroom? I mean, people are going to come out of the tube thing just here. So do we want to put the restroom over here somewhere? That might be a good idea. So let's get rid of that tree. Away with you, nature. And um, yes, we'll put this thing in to allow people to answer a different call of nature. So let's drop that in round here. Let's just put that there. That tree can go away. And then that's all connected up, which is lovely. And then we've got two grand. I love having a bit of money to play with. That's wonderful. Um, can we put some more decor stuff in? Like a little flower garden. That's quite pretty. Can we put that in the middle of here? That might be quite nice. Or can we put something over here just to make it look a little bit more appealing when you nip out to the loo? Yeah, let's put one of those there. Um, an arch fountain. An arch fountain looks amazing. Oh, that looks very good. I mean, it doesn't really work with how we've got this bit set up because it's kind of cutting diagonally and it only goes sort of 90 degree twist. But maybe we'll get one of those somewhere else. I don't know. And yeah, an arch flower garden as well. That would be nice as well. But yeah, that doesn't really work again over here. But never mind. Never mind. Let's get a little flower garden thing. Let's pop that just there, look. Make this area look a little bit a little bit nicer. Can we also get some grass? Can we get some grass in there? Hang on a minute. Let's make that a bit smaller. I don't like the fact that it's 
it's got that sort of sort of you know mud look to it. I'd rather it be nice and grassy. There we go. And Lucille has just bought herself a nice drink. Well, hopefully it was. Uh, yeah, somebody in the comments said I like the way they walk. It is very good. <laughs> sort of they sort of waddle around. They sort of waddle about. Maybe that's how we're going to walk in the future. I do not know. But yeah, they sort of walk in a very sort of comical fashion. Uh, okay, here we go. More people having a go on our trickier course. Do you know what? Let's give you some skill injection things. And let's give somebody else, another group as well. Um, you lot, you can all have skill injection stuffs as well, just so it makes you feel a little bit better about your golfing skills. Okay, lovely. So now I've got ourselves one and a half grand... Let's buy ourselves a new bit of land. Um, where do we want to go? Which bit of land should we go for? I mean, I'm thinking here looks pretty good. It looks quite nice and flat, and it's still near to the thing. It's still near to the clubhouse. So why don't we buy this bit of land? So let's buy that. Boom. Are there any things on it? Are there any weeds on it? There are down this end, yes. So there is a, a weed overlay you can put on. There's a few weeds down here. There's loads of... Oh my goodness. Oh, crikey's. There must be like a, what do they call it in that thing that popped up on the on the little tool tippy thing? Was it a weed hive, did it say? I mean, what does a weed hive look like? I don't know, but I suspect there might be one over here because there's quite a lot of weeds over there. So we are going to want to have to, yeah, we're going to want to put something in here which shoots the weeds. Oh, the weeds are spreading. They are spreading this way. Okay, uh, where was the, the shooty weeds thing? Here. So that's going to shoot weeds in that range. Oh, the weeds are... They're really spreading really quickly. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's put a weed-killing thing... Um, can we pop it right on that side there? So put it right on the edge. So that thing is now just going to go through and vaporise the weed. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is brilliant. The, can I just remind everybody, this is a game about golf. This is a game about golf, and we've got a thing firing lasers, which is just ridiculous. Okay, there we go. That's slowly killing the weeds. It's not going to get that one. But it's going to keep them out of this area. Okay, brilliant. There we go. We've got a thing that shoots weeds. Marvellous. There we go. We, we've achieved something wonderful today. Okay. So we've got... Oh, no. The only thing is, though, goal four number three is there. We can't really have number four over here, can we? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I suppose they can come back on their sort of whooshy tube thing and go over here for number four. That's fine. It's going to have to be over here. It's going to have to be over here because, um, because yeah, we have no choice because this is the land we've bought. Um, let's get rid of maybe some of those trees. Um, what I want for the next hole, so hole number four, um, oh, more people upgrading their memberships. What have we got now? 10 bronze members, 11 bronze members. Wonderful. Um, what I really want to do, I really want to have a, a long course. So it's like a long bit, N not too tricky, but then right at the top end of it, I want to have... Um, I want to have it filled with... I want to make it look like a pinball machine, basically. That's what I want. I want it to have... Um, where are they? Lots of those things. So lots of the round hyper bumpers. And then lots of the angled hyper bumpers. Just so they can sort of... Yeah, they get their shot down the far end. And then the ball can just go... Bing, 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 like, in a, like in a pinball machine. <laughs> That's what I would like. They are going to cost a bit, though. And we have just paid out the expenses. So we might have to wait a short while for the um, for all that sort of you know the money to come back in again. Um, can we have ourselves a massive payoff from whatever we had before? What was that thing we got before that we got given two and a half grand for? What was that or three and a half grand or whatever it was? I don't know where that I don't know where that is. How do I find out what they are? Is there a way where I can see a list of sort of achievementy things? It's just here. There's a little bit which says sub menu, and then there is a thing for awards. So we can see here we got our three and a half grand for master gadgetry. So there's a rating progress and then a thought progress. So the thought type, which I think you know, we have to conjure these thoughts in the heads of our golfers, um, the thought type they need to have is that crazy gadget looks fun. And the hint is have many crazy devices visible when shooting. And then we've got other ones here. So this one here is like launch my ball into orbit and have the ball land on one or more ball launchers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so rock and roll have lots of rocks visible when shooting. But nobody's thought this. We've got quite a lot of rocks available. Quite a lot of rocks available, but okay. Um, and then, yeah, there's sort of a decor, many decorations and stuff like that. Um, this one here is nearly done. Have one or more shots going uphill. And their thought is, this uphill shot looks fun. Um, we could do some windmills as well. That might be quite fun. That might be very, very good indeed. And there was one about mud. There's one about mud as well. Um, so we could put some mud 
on one of them as well. On this course, maybe. On the course we're going to build here when we can, maybe we just have a load of mud on the sides. Rather than, rather than you know, sort of uh, the uh, sort of uh, sand trap things, we'll just have mud. We'll have loads of mud on the side, then maybe that will trigger that thing. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to do for this one. So, right, is our laser still shooting the weeds? Are the weeds now... Have they gone away? The weeds might have gone away a little bit. Oh, look, there's little sort of firefly type things over here. That's very pretty. It is a very pretty game. I do like the way it looks. Right, so yeah, so I think we need to get this course. We can't really do it yet. We've not got enough money to build all the good, the fun bits and bobs to it. Um, Let's go to nature props. Let's demolish some nature up here because we don't want this up here. So boom, away with you. Right, so destroy all that stuff up there. So get rid of all of that and those two there as well. Any other trees lurking around here? Get rid of that shrubbery. Away with you, shrub. Okay, so there we go. We'll get rid of that tree and that tree. Oh, no, that tree. No, that... The, the weeds are coming. The rain comes and the weeds come. Ah, so when it rains, the weeds get stronger. Okay. Right, now I'm not so worried about over here because we have a laser turret thingamajigger. What about over here? Because there are quite a few weeds. Oh, yeah. There's even some in the sea. Yeah, can you go away, weeds? We've got a laser thing to deal with you over here, but not so much over the other side. So are they going to spread and cause us some trouble? Okay, we'll have to keep our eye on that then as it goes. So over here, let's get ourselves a new golf hole. So the tea, a lovely, lovely tea. A, a lot of people in the comments get saying, it's not that type of tea. So yeah, I, I got that. I worked that out. <laughs> so let's have a look then. So which way is this? Which way is that? For? The arrow is very hard to see on this. Where's the arrow? Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Where? Which way is that? I can't see which way that's facing. Genuinely can't see. Ah, right. Okay. So it's going to kind of go this way. Yeah, the arrow's sort of lost in the grass there. That's a little bit strange. Okay, so we'll put that there. Right. So we have a new T. And then up here, how are the weeds looking? Uh, the weeds are looking over this side. Yes, another three grand of money. <laughs> Yay, uphill roller, splendid. Um, over here then, maybe. Let's get ourselves the the hole. So we'll put the hole just there, maybe. Is that going to be long enough? So it says hole too straight, obstacles required. Yes, I am putting obstacles in. So they're going to try and hit the ball over here. So what we want to do is... Let's get ourselves some... The green can go up here. That's fine. So just a bit of green. Woo for the green. And then fairway can kind of come all the way down here. Um, in fact, let's have a fairway here. So we'll have a big blob of fairway in the middle. We'll have a fairway bit at the end over here where we are going to, to tee off. Because that's a phrase that I've learned. And then mud. Mud pit. Let's just have mud pit in the middle here. So if you mess up your early shot, you're going to be in trouble. And then we'll have mud pits just here as well. So more mud pit going in. Yes, mud pits ahoy. There we go. And then in here, we just want... We've got loads of money now, which is wonderful news. We can then just put in lots of these silly things. We <laughs> can just have loads of these bumper bouncer things. Um, and yeah, we'll try and make it like a pinball machine if we can. So let's see. So we'll put... Uh, I don't know, one there. Oh, hang on. Can we place many? Uh, hold shift. Yeah, okay. So we don't have to keep sort of, yeah, selecting it. So let's put loads over there. We'll have six. Let's have loads of them. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've still got loads of money left. This is wonderful. Uh, one there, one there, one there. And then we want some of the ones around the side just to make sure that if they do manage to you know, get it over here, then, yes, it can sort of sprawl back. Um, we want to snap rotate. Hold left control. Okay. Ah, yeah, there we go. So we want that one to be pointing like that back in on the thing. And then that one can be pointing at the other angle like that. <laughs> this is, this is very silly. And then that one perfect like that. Yes. We have almost blown all our money, but it's fine. It's for a good cause. That one just there. Um... And then round the side, how much are the how much are the launchers? Three hundred and fifty for a launcher. Ouch. Okay, maybe not. Do you know what we could do though? Round the edge, we could get some more mud stuff. So let's just shrink that down a bit. So round here, more mud. Don't want anything. There we go. A bit like that. So we'll just make it a sort of a, an island. 
this green bit can be, the fairway can be like an island surrounded by all of this mud. And then we'll bring the mud around here and over to there. And there we go. I think we might need to remove those trees there and get the mud back. Uh, yeah, there we go. More mud goes in. Yes. This looks, <laughs> this looks suitably ridiculous. Okay, this, this looks brilliant. I like this. Um, is it complaining? It's too straight. Obstacles are needed. Are you joking? It's too straight. There's a gazillion things in here. There's a gazillion things in the middle to bounce the ball around. Maybe we need to make it go a bit further. Obstacles needed. The challenge is very high. Oh, the lighting is a bit bad. Craziness is very high. Oh, come on. We must be able to open this. I'm just going to open it. It's fine. Um, and then we need some lights, don't we? Just so they can see things when it's dark. Um, we'll put that one over to this side. So we'll have a light just there, just to light up the T. Um, and then, can we put some lights? Ah, oh, yeah, we're going to need them on either side, aren't we? So one there. How much are they? Oh, I don't know that expensive. Are they 50? No, that's fine. And then one there. And then one over this way. Sort of maybe, maybe next to, just next to the laser. Just there. Okay, there we go. So hole number four is in. Um, yeah, it's complaining. It doesn't like it. Even the challenge is very high. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let's just see if anybody actually comes to play this, and we'll ignore the we'll ignore the thing. We'll ignore that just there. Um. Yeah. Can someone can I have a go then? Because I think this looks suitably ridiculous. <laughs> this just looks like all sorts of nonsense. They're having a go at. Ah, oh, they're going for number one still. Uh. Okay. That's fine. Do you know what? Boom. There you go. You can all feel a little bit better about doing golf. Here comes here comes Doctor Manager. Having a little look at, yeah, inspecting the new thing that we've got. Inspecting that, which is very nice. Um, yeah, we need somebody to come and have a go. And maybe we need to move that a bit further away, possibly, if people find it a bit easy. Right, come on, move time on, move time on. Where are people on hole number three? They are, oh, they're having fun with those things. Okay, well, <laughs> we shall see what happens when somebody has a go at golf hole number four. Okay, so the people have finished number three. Are they going to go and have a go at number four? And are they nipping to the loo? That's absolutely fine. Yeah, that's good. And are they going home? Or are they, no, they're going to number four. They're going to have a go at number four. Okay, right. Cole is the first one to have a go. Or is he? Or is he just waiting for his, his fellow golfers who have also nipped to the toilet? I think they are waiting for their, their friends and colleagues. Uh, Tyler also going to the loo. Oh no, does that mean it doesn't work? Are they, are they just waiting for all of their party? Now I'm not entirely sure. Somebody's very happy that there's toilets though, <laughs> which is wonderful news. Come on, come on. Somebody start. Somebody have a go. Right, here we go. Chris is the first and the ball comes in. Oh, and he's, he's put it straight in the mud. He's put it in the mud. Oh, that was a terrible, that was a terrible shot. I mean, that was awful. I mean, I'm I'm no golfer, but surely you can just aim it in the middle somewhere. There's loads of people in this little party here. Come on, who's next? Who's doing more golf? Anybody doing golf? Hello? Anybody? Right, this is better. This is better. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. That that was brilliant. That was brilliantly stupid. Ah, oh, that was tremendous, right? Okay, and yep, that is exactly what I wanted from this. Just for it to just go everywhere, like a pinball machine. <laughs> That's wonderful. I do like that. I like that a lot. That's very good. <laughs> this is this is the best one so far. I think hole number four is the best one so far. And again, they've got to actually get somebody to get to the end. Oh, night time. All the lights have pinged on, which is wonderful. I don't like the fact that it does have that thing on the end. Oh, oh that actually wasn't a bad shot. Hit the angled sproinger, bounced off one of those, and it's then ended up just here. So they should have. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the terminology is, but they, is it a chip? Do they chip it up over the mud? The mud, which looks horrendous, by the way, it's a weird red, <laughs> sort of glowing mud stuff. And um, do they just chip it over to that side? I do not know. And whose ball went over here and is lost in the mud forever? I don't know. Oh no, another one's lost forever. <laughs> oh dear, you lot. Yep, yeah, that's who knows what that's doing. And that's gone backwards. <laughs> nice one, whoever you were. And that is lost in the mud. Now that was a poorly built hole. Yeah, I'm 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 I lost my ball in the mud pit. Yeah, that's the point. It's supposed to be a risk. You're supposed to lose there. I'd better avoid the mud pit. Yes, precisely. Um and I'm so tired. Okay. 
I can't really do anything about that, I'm afraid. But yeah, it's complaining that this is a badly designed a badly designed hole. It it probably is, but it looks brilliant. And look, somebody got it onto the well, okay, not onto the green. It's over the other side. Maybe we need to make the green a bit bigger. Hang on a second. Let's make the green a tad bigger. Just so it can sort of spill onto the back here. So there you go. We're helping you out a little bit there, golfers. Urgh, I'm very angry, says Tom. Oh dear. Sorry, Tom. Um, yeah, we'll put that sort of there. Look, we'll have the green coming back that way. Uh, and then just grass in this little bit. Can we just fill that with some nice grass? There we go. Lovely. Um, and yeah, that bit can be a bit grassy as well. Yay, grass. Okay, there we go. Well, I think that's fine. I know it's got an alert thing on it and it's not happy, but I think that's quite fun. I think that's... <laughs> That's a suitably ridiculous cause. I mean, look, and it, it just deflects it into the mud, maybe, possibly, which is brilliant. Yep, and some more cylinders. <laughs> Who knows where it's going to go? It's gone backwards and into the mud over there. And that's what you get. That's what you get when you come to play golf in the future. You get all this very silly silliness. Okay, so we have our ludicrous sort of pinball machine kind of hole thing in. Now I'd like one with lots of these in. Lots of the ball launchers. And it says their golfers will tend to shoot toward this structure if it is within their shot path. And then golf balls that land on the launcher are blasted upwards. We do have one over here, but I don't know if they necessarily go for that or not. Because they kind of go through the arch thing. So maybe, maybe we could do something with these and create a similar thing to this, but maybe going kind of here and round the... I mean, can we do that? Can we do that? Can we put one... So, you know, because this is where they're going to end up. This is the end of number four. Can we then have number five just here, starting here? And then we could put some checkpoint things in, because you can do that to make them go certain ways. So make them come this way and round here, maybe. And then maybe have another, another hole over that way, or is that pushing it a bit? Maybe we could just have it here and going round that way, back toward the clubhouse. That might be fun. So let's, Joe. You know what? I know, I know we could leave some of the nature in, but it makes it a lot easier if you just destroy the nature's. Farewell, nature. Bye-bye now. We'll put you back in if we need you. Boom, away with you. Progress is coming. Future golf is here. Um, yeah, okay, we'll get rid of those bits and that shrubbery thing there as well. So there we go. So we'll get rid of all the stuff. There are some weeds. There are weeds down here. We need to destroy the weeds. Uh, so let's get ourselves another T. We'll pause time for a second. So another T can go uh, just here, maybe. So put the T just here and we'll have ourselves... Oh, that's facing the wrong way. Can we turn it round? No, we can't turn it round. At least the T's are very cheap. Um, we want it to come, not that way, sort of that way. So T off over here. Um... In fact, we want it to go more this way. And we could put loads of stuff here. We could put some fun things here so they can look at it and go, ooh, in fact, we could look at one of those things in here. Um, avoid the thicket, have lots of trees visible when shooting and all that kind of stuff. A downhill one might be fun. Sand traps, we could do the sand traps one maybe. Are we nearly, have we nearly completed one of these? Not really. They're not, they've not got the thinking going on. Um, yeah, maybe we have it going a bit more... Not over here, maybe more sort of that direction. Okay, right, so get rid of that again. <laughs> oh dear. Right, and rotate that round and to sort of there-ish. Okay, and then we'll get ourselves this. So we'll put some fairway around that because that's I think that's what you have at the start, isn't it? You have fairway. Why is it facing the other way? I didn't turn it to face that way, did I? Hang on. I thought it was facing in the completely opposite direction. Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, and then we kind of want it to come down here, is the idea. And then maybe we'll have a bit where there's some sand just there. And then we'll have a bit here where there's some fairway, like so. And then maybe another bit going over that way. And then we could put the hole over here. So let's get a... Yeah, we want a big bit of green, actually, don't we? So the green can go round here. So yay for the green. Just liberally apply a load of green. Uh, and then that there. And then the hole can go just there. But then they're going to try, <laughs> try and knock it through the other bit of course, which is obviously not very good. So then we want to start putting in some of these sort of checkpoint things. Where were they? Uh, where are they? There's like golf check. Oh, do you have to click on this? Um, is it here? Yeah, golf checkpoint. And a golf checkpoint to your holes gives you more power to shape its shot path as golfers must shoot through the checkpoint. Or we could, we could put the mega wickets down. So if we set, hang on, they're supposed to go for these, aren't they? 
So what if we put one of those just there? Are they going to then alter their shot to come through that? No, they're not. They're going to try and go back that way. That's a bit naughty. Right, okay. How about we put one of those in then? What if we put that in? Are they going to switch their shot round now? No, they're really, really not even bothering, are they? Okay, golf checkpoint. You have to go just here then. There you go, look. That's forced your hand, doesn't it? There you go. Um, and then we want one of those things just over there. So put one of those just there. Hang on, we need some sand, don't we? Get some sand. Sand trap. Let's put some sand in there. Marvellous. And some sand just here. Like so. So kind of like that area. And then let's put some sand along the side of there as well. So sand there. And sand coming down that side. Do you want sand on the... Yeah, do you know what? Let's have these. These can be little islands. Islands in the sand. That's what they are. Right, there you go. And then we will get some of these launcher things. And we just put them where they're going to hit the ball. There you go. Looks like they're going to put one there. Well, hang on a minute. It says they're trying to... <laughs> oh, now what's going on here? This is all sorts of bonkers. What's happening here? So this is... This is very confusing. They will tend to shoot toward the structure if it is within their shot path. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on exactly there. Can we put one of those there then? Are they going to now move their shot again? No, so that's fine. But why, why are you not going for that one there? It's kind of hoping that that would happen. So they need to go through this, but they're going to go back through the gate and take a shot from there rather than just go there. <laughs> what? What kind of golfing is this? We're shooting less shots, not more. You crazy people. Um, okay. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? And then, can we put a windmill at the end? Just to just to blow the blow the ball off? Yeah, you're sort of out of the way. <laughs> just Let's do that, shall we? Um, I assume... Which way is it facing? Oh, I've put it facing the wrong way. Hang on a minute. Can we can we rotate? Can we turn that round? Yes, we can. Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like a massive cone. A massive cone of air and rotation speed. All of it. All of the speed. Uh, oh, look, you can make them really high as well. Oh, this is brilliant. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, I don't really understand this bit here. Like, can we move that? Can we move this thing? Yeah, we get the money back from that. We get the 350. So why don't we just put one of them there? Yeah, they're... they're ah, that's... I don't really understand why they're going there. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand why they're going back through the gate. What if we get rid of the gate? Does that make any difference to their path? Yes, yeah, so they're going to chip it up here to get it into there, and then bounce it across to there, then back in, then over, and then they're going to ignore the... Ah, I can hear me. You're supposed to go for these. The whole point is, these are things that you go for. I don't understand why you're ignoring them. One there, then. And are you going to change your route again? No. Okay. I mean, that could be fun, putting those on there. That could be very, very silly. And there's a fan at the end that's just going <laughs> to... It's just going to... Uh, is that switched on? That switched on. Can we switch it on? The windmill is closed. Maybe it needs to be with the with the hole. Oh no, I've broken the breaker thing. Hang on, let's just let's just move time on until we can switch it back on again. Um, yeah, maybe. Right, we need to fill the gaps in. So let us get some some fairway to fill the gaps in. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I know that's not gone entirely according to plan. There we go. Um, I mean, can we have another one of those springy things that goes into the sky? Can we have another one of those? Just there, if that's what you're going to do. Can you hit it onto it? No, they just sort of avoid it. That's very weird. I thought the whole point was if it was within your thing, you're supposed to go for it. Uh, okay, never mind, never mind. We'll try this. We'll see what happens here. And then the fan as well can be sitting there. And then can we switch that back on yet? Uh, Got to wait a few seconds. Hang on. Yeah, how long? 17 seconds. Okay, that's fine. So as soon as we can switch that back on, we will then... How long is it? Six seconds, three seconds, and... Boom, the fan is on and <laughs> it is very much blowing the wind at that, which could be quite fun. So let's then open this, shall we? Let's see if this just goes horribly wrong. Right, T5 is open, everybody. It is open for you to all enjoy. Let's see what silliness ensues. Um, and yeah, there are some weeds. There are some weeds. Hang on, we need a weed shooting laser blaster thingy. Where is that? Uh, it's just here, right. Um, yeah. Oh no, the, the drone is dealing with it. Let's put a laser in as well. Pow, pow, pow. The laser can the laser can deal with it as well. That's absolutely fine. There we go. And do you know what? We'll put the laser behind some trees because we want to hide it away from our lovely, lovely, uh, lovely paying customers. There we go. 
Okay, right, now are people coming down to hole number five? Yes, they are. Hello, Bill and Luna. How are you two? Please have a go at hole number five. Let's see how this goes. So they're going to need to hit it into that first, which is fine. Right, so okay, so now you keep keep doing the golf. We want to see you hit it into that thing first. and Or through it, let's get it through it. Or there you go. Right, so they've hit the checkpoint, which is fine, as have you. So they're both checkpointed. And now, oh, there you go. It, you know, I, yeah, I thought it would spring it in the air more, if I'm honest. I thought it would catapult it in the air some ludicrous distance. Maybe not. This is a little bit more straightforward. We can't turn that up or anything. We can't make it so it boings it a bit more. Um, never mind. Well, then that this is good, though. So then we'll see what it's like when they get down here. Because I've got to get over here. That's fine. They might hit the things. Ah, oh, the weeds are super blooming. But then when they get over here... There is a massive, massive fan blowing wind at them. Let's see if this affects... And the weather's terrible as well. Let's see if this affects their ability to... Oh, yeah, it moves the ball backwards. It just pushes the ball away. So they go bosh, and then, yeah, <laughs> it just blows it back. That's ridiculous. That's very silly. Okay, right, yeah, move time on. Let's see what they can do. He just, he just blows the ball away from the hole. <laughs> that's just that's just mean. Bill is Bill's getting a bit confused. Luna oh Luna's getting a bit grumpy about this. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe we turn the rotation speed down slightly. <laughs> it is just blowing the ball back toward them. You need to hit the ball a bit harder, Bill. Come on. You're like gonna be like three hundred over par at this rate. <laughs> no, they're not getting it, are they? They're not understanding they need to hit the ball a bit harder. Okay, right, that's making it slightly impossible. What if we put it down to sixty? Because now they're just getting grumpy and they're not enjoying themselves. Oh, Bill just regenerated. That's fun. Hey! Oh, Bill gave us a dollar. Thanks, Bill. Oh, and Luna gave us a dollar. They've had a miserable time. Yeah, the fan makes it a bit difficult. <laughs> Maybe we'll turn the fan down ever so slightly. In fact, do you know what? Put it down to 40. There we go. Well, there we go. We've got these two courses in. I do like that. I like that ridiculous one there. Um, Still, yeah, we've got 904 money. So the money is coming in slowly but surely. It's getting there. Don is freaking out. Oh, Don. Don, man, don't freak out. Where are you, Don? Don, C call it Don. Where is Don? Don, Don's gone. Don's gone. Don's gone. Where is Don? I don't know where Don is. I'm not entirely sure where he is. Has he freaked out so much he's ran off or something? I don't know where Don has gone. But yeah, Don has vanished into non-existence. Also, this thing has got a, a kind of flashy message over it. What's that telling me? Um, yeah, there's somebody over there who's a bit cross. Um, okay, there's a problem with the bench. There's a problem with the bench. It looks fine to me. It doesn't need any upkeep. It's not dirty. What's wrong with the bench? It's a lovely bench. Look at it. It's a future bench. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with the bench either, but okay. I don't know. And Don, who knows where Don is? But there we go. So I quite like this area. It's nice and simple. You start here. Well, I say simple. This bit isn't that simple. But yeah, it's simple in its navigation. So you start here. You go that way to that hole. Then you walk over to that hole there. And then you kind of come back around toward the clubhouse. And then again, you can use the facilities if you like and go and get yourself a drink and all that kind of stuff. You can go and look at this potentially dangerous bench or whatever's wrong with it. I do not know. But, uh, but yeah, that seems to work out quite nicely. I like the sort of the root of that bit. Oh my goodness me. You can edit the manager. You can edit the manager. This is wonderful. Oh, look at this. Okay, right. Yeah, so we can rename them. They no longer have to be called Doctor Manager. Oh, hang on. Let's have Doctor Penge. Oh, yeah, they've clearly got a doctorate. I'll take the doctorate with me. And there's different body types. Oh, oh, you can be a chap with a fabulous moustache. You can have a bit of weight too if you want to. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, fine. So you can go. Yeah. So extremes of the weight side there. We'll go. We'll go. Let's go that way. Um, clothing color. Oh, can we have? Geek Cupboard Corporate Colours. Can we get the kind of blues in? Uh, that's sort of have to do. Hang on, can we get that? That's about as good as we're going to do. Skin colours, all different skin colours as well. Hair colours. Uh, yeah, that's, where's the greyish one? That looks about right. Hairstyle. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Yes. <laughs> head shape. Different head shapes. And then extras. Mustaches, glasses. Um, I do quite like that. That looks good. Ludicrous glasses like that. Yeah, okay, there you go. We're, we've changed Dr. Manager to Dr. Penge. I like that. That's very, very good. Yeah, okay, we'll accept that. Thank you. Do you know what? Despite upgrading our clubhouse, we never did get to put in the driving range or the putting green because we never had enough money. We might have had enough money at one point or other, but then we just went and blew it on all of other sort of exciting golfing things from the future. So there is a way that we could do this. We could certainly get ourselves our hands on the driving range 
and the putting green. And that's via the use of a little bit of a cheat kind of thing that's been built in, which I think might be quite fun, just so we can have a look at what all of these other things are. So we could just give ourselves a little bit of money, we could give ourselves some cash, and then go forth and just sort of upgrade a few bits and bolts, put down some of the fancy things, not all of these, but I mean hover rentals, I want those, I want hover rentals in. And yeah, we could play the game, we could play the game, just run it forward, It's you know, it might take a little while for us to actually make this amount of money to A, upgrade that, because how much is that going to cost? So we need 10 grand to upgrade the clubhouse, plus we need another 15 grand to get the hover rentals. So to get hover rentals in, which, you know, it, that's the dream. That's that's live in the future dream. That would be 25,000 monies. And at the moment, we have 320 monies. So it might take a little while. So, um, so yeah, there is a, a sort of a, a useful cheats menu, where, which we can go to. So if we press escape, there is a cheats thing just here. Hooray! And for the purposes of us mucking about with the game right now, let's just have a little look at this. Um, So, so yeah. Give me, give me a hundred grand, hundred grand. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just do that lots of times. There we go. We'll just do that five times. Hooray! We're suddenly incredibly rich. And then we can upgrade this to the max. Leonard is freaking out. Don't you worry, Leonard. We are going to have a very, very fancy clubhouse in a moment. It just has an extra pointy bit on it, I think. So hang on. It's now got three pointy bits. What if we add another one? Um, oh, we need more silver members. Oh, so we can't just go through and do that immediately. Oh, Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but now we can put in the driving range. However, hover rentals. This is this is the important thing. This is what we want. Hover rentals. Let's have hover rentals, please. Yes. Oh, hang on a minute. And now they're just going in. Paying two. Oh, can, can we just pause time for a second? Who's who's bought a hoverboard? I want to see a hoverboard in action, please. Oh yes. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. The future is truly now. Oh, you used it to go to there. <laughs> I mean, is it really worth it? Oh, look out, Melissa. You nearly got your head stoved in by a golf ball there. But there we go. We've got that in, which is lovely. Let's as well for our people. Let, let's put in these things. Let's put in a driving range and a putting green over here somewhere because I kind of feel like we should. Okay, I've actually made quite a few changes. I've had a little play and just built various bits and bobs. So I thought we could have like a sort of a mini concourse area over here. So we've got ourselves some more of the drinks machines and a bin and some more toilets over here. Just in case anybody is over here at the start of hole number two and you know, gets caught a little bit short, they can run over here. And then we have ourselves the driving range. And it handily says it just here because I was struggling to remember what it was called. But there we go. That's the driving range. So you set this up. You set up the sort of the start point and then you can pick how many targets you want. So we've got three targets for that just there. So hopefully we should see some people coming over to start having a go at these. We did buy this extra big block of land over here as well. So we've got the kind of the three at the end there. Um, this is the putting green just here. And it's got one of the little sort of tube things so you, people can get to it very easily. And that again is a very similar thing. You put that down and then you put where you want the, sort of, you know, the targets to be. So we've got four of those just there. And then I thought, do you know what? Just for the heck of it, we've got this big kind of bit of sort of very slopey land over here. Why don't we put ourselves a hole up here that goes down the hill that can slope all the way down? So we've got that. We've got two rings of fire. So people can choose whether to shoot that way or that way if they want to. Um, so we go through the hang on. Can we fly through one of those? Yes, that looked very good. And then um, it comes down here. We have got lots of lasers because there's lots of weeds over here. So uh, it's going to come down here. There is quite a bit of sand and the hole is over here. And I thought that was quite tricky anyway. We haven't put any extra little bits and bobs in apart from the rings of fire. And that is it. Um, so yeah, so that's now open. That is open. However, do you know what we could do? We could get ourselves a, where is it? Where are the connecty tube things? We could get a connecty tube thing going up here just to make sure that people don't feel like they have to walk all the way up this hill or whatever. They can just get into the, the lazy tube and go just there. However, what are they going to do when they finish down here? We might need to connect them to something else. Let's pop a tube thing there. Can that connect back up to that one? It's too far. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hang on. How near can we get? Demolish you. Goodbye now. And we'll see how far this can go. So how far can that go? Uh, too far between. Really? It can't go just there. It can't even go just there. The terrain is too high. Oh, oh there's, too much of a, there's too much of a drop. Oh no, what are we going to do about that? Because <laughs> they're not going to want to walk all the way back, surely. Maybe we'll have to have a connector here and then going over to there. Let's see if we can make that work. So get one here, then go there. 
and then can we connect to that or is that a bit too far? Oh, that's, that's a slightly too far. Is that too far? Uh, no, that works. Yes. Oh, that looks brilliant. Okay, right. Now what we want to do is move time on nice and quick just to see what it looks like when people use these things. What does it actually look like? And yes, we've only got, we've got a tier two where we haven't got any silver members. So we can't just upgrade it, you know, willy nilly as we like. But let's just have a look to see what happens when people start using these. So here we go. Dallas is having a go at the driving range. He's doing some driving as is Mira, as is everyone else. Okay. They just had a little shot there. They get into the tube things and clear off. Dallas having a little sit down. Very nice. And then we want to see somebody use, I mean, this really. Here we go. Here we go. Are you using this? And that was the drone. I thought that was a person coming to have a go at hole number six. Unfortunately not, not right now. But look, people are on this. Oh, there's manager, that's manager Penge. Okay, somebody came up here just to have a little look around and then went away again. Okay, I love the way they fly about. It's so ridiculous. Right, here we go. Are you going to have a go, Morris? Sam's freaking out. He's tired. That's fine. Sam's going to have to get over it. Right, Rob. Here you go, Rob. Through the ring of fire. Nice shot. And oh, it's just, just into, into the sand there just into the sand trap and other chap um getting punched stings tyler is freaking out oh was there a fight was there a fight and a weed hive sprout has been detected where uh oh that's revolting destroy it how it's it's really far away um i'm just gonna ignore that i'm gonna ignore that and pretend that that isn't the thing i need to worry about um but yeah there we go look so they're over here oh they it is yeah we've, we've run out of lights over here as well we need to pop some lights in hang on a minute let me light this place up. There we go. We've got some lights in now. Put a light there. Put a light over here near the start somewhere. Pop that. Don't know. Can we put it behind the behind the T? There we go. And then we'll put another one just there. Just because we can. So there you go. It, it's a bit better lit now. So they should be able to see what they're doing. But there we go. I quite like that. I like the downhill sort of idea of that one. And, and that looks marvellous. From a distance, that looks brilliant. That looks excellent. I love the way it looks. All these sort of crazy sort of thing, neon things all lit up and the big kind of clubhouse looking all sort of big and futuristic and pointy. I did put a billboard in. That's just got some sort of promo stuff in it there. It's powered by Gleep apparently, which is nice. And all the little tubes connecting up now so people can sort of zip about the resort and stuff. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there for now. We'll leave it there. Because obviously we had to use the cheats to get to this. We had to give ourselves vast piles of cash just to have a go at the, you know, getting in these extra bits and bobs. And that's just because I wanted to see what they look like. I wanted to see what the driving range looked like and all these other extra little sort of things. So um, yeah, we'll finish up for now. But I have enjoyed this. This is very good. I like this an awful lot. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's very, very silly. I like the silliness of it all. It's just, I mean, future golf with these things in and then and then the weeds coming in as well. So, you know, a game about golf, I could get that. You go, yeah, okay, game about golf. Golf's a popular thing. Game about golf in the future. You go, okay, future golf. Interesting, right? What are you going to do? Game about golf where you have loads of crazy things. So like bumpers and, and fans and all that kind of stuff and things that spring the ball into the air and what have you. And I go, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm on board with that. And then they just throw in lasers as well. <laughs> they just sort of went, do you know what? This isn't silly enough. Let's have lasers. So then they put lasers in as well to kill encroaching death weeds. So, so yeah, this is a lot of fun. It, it's very, very enjoyable indeed. And, um, and yeah, it's suitably, it's very, very silly. It's very silly. It does not take itself seriously. And I like that. I think it, it knows it's silly. It's supposed to be very, very silly indeed. And, um, yeah, it's all the better for it. So we'll leave Go Go Future Golfers for now because I think we've had a good look at stuff um yeah I mean we could we could keep playing it for a long 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 time in order to get real money yeah we could try and earn the money ourselves and go through and do all the stuff but I think we've seen enough of it to get an idea of what the game is all about and yeah it's it's very enjoyable and if you like golf and you like the future and you like lasers then this is probably the game for you. But we will indeed finish up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little look at Goaltopia because, yeah, it's been very, very good indeed. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other shenanigans and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.